walking at 5 km per hour, a student reaches his school from his house 15 minutes early. And walking at 3 km per hour, he is late by 9 minutes. Now if you look at it, there are two different cases. In the first case, he reaches 15 minutes early. In the second case, he is late by 9 minutes. Can you tell me what is the difference in these two times here? 15 minutes early and 9 minutes late. What is the net difference in these two times? Well, you may say it is 6 minutes. But the point is, the difference here is 24 minutes. Now, how can the difference between 15 and 9 be 24? The point here is, if you observe the magnitude, you will say 15 minus 9 6. But if you look at the sign there, right? Sign as such, 15 minutes early. Early is on that side, on one side of the axis, and late is on the other side of the axis. So, the difference between these two times should be considered as 15 plus 9, 24 minutes. I will explain this to you with the help of a very simple example. Let's say the time at which the school starts is 9 a.m. Right? This student is supposed to reach the school at 9 a.m. What happened? He was walking at 5 km per hour. He reached 15 minutes early. What is 15 minutes early? He reached at 8.45 a.m. He reached at 8.45 a.m. At what speed was he travelling then? 5 km per hour. And in the second case, when he was travelling at 3 km per hour, he reached late by 9 minutes. He was supposed to reach at 9, he reached late by 9 minutes. So at what time did he reach the school? 9 o'clock and 9 minutes. And at what speed was he travelling in this case? 3 km per hour. Right, so in the first case he was early by 15 minutes, now he is late by 9 minutes. If you look at the differences here, how much is it? 8.45 to 9.9. The difference is 24 minutes. Right, now this is what we need to focus on. Are you able to follow? The time difference here is 24 minutes or, or simple. In both the cases again the distance travelled is same. Yes or no? Walking at 5 km per hour the student reaches his school from his house 15 minutes early and walking at 3 km per hour he reaches 9 minutes late. So the distance covered is same in both the cases. Right? Distance covered in the first case is equal to the distance covered in the second case. Now, if we really look at it, how do we get this 24 minutes? There are two different time intervals. Let's say this is T1 right? and this is T2. We know that T2 minus T1 is equal to 24 minutes. This is T2, time 2. It's not a time taken, it is this instant 9 o'clock and 9 minutes is time 2, let's say. 8.45 is time 1. So T2 minus T1 is equal to 24 minutes. Now, now what is time? Distance by speed, right? So just substitute. Distance by speed. At what speed was it traveling? 3. Minus, what is this time? Distance by speed. But the distance is same, right? It's not d2 and d1. The distance covered is same in both the cases. So d by 5 equals to 24. But if you observe, the speeds here are given in kilometers per hour, 3 kilometers per hour, and 5 kilometers per hour respectively. So time cannot be taken in minutes. Time should be taken in hours. How do you convert minutes to hours? Divide by 60. 24 by 60. Solve for this equation and you get the answer. That's the concept. If you wish to go by the concept, this is it. d by 3 minus d by 5 equals to 24 by 60. Simplify to get D. That's what is asking, right? The distance between his house and his school. Now what happens here? D is common. So we get 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 equals to 24 by 60 becomes uh, 2 by 5. Yes or no? 12 into 2 and 12 into 5. Now simplify this, what do we get? So D into 15 is LCM here. 5 times and 3 times. 3 goes 5 times, 5 goes 3 times. So 5 minus 3, 2 equals to 2 by 5. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, we can say D is equal to 15 by 5, which is 3 kilometers. Option C is the answer, 3 kilometers, right? So that's how you do, one simple equation, right? The difference of the two times should be 24. Take distance by speed, distance by speed, 24. If you want a shortcut formula for this one, since this is a very popular example, I would give you a shortcut formula. If you are comfortable, mug it up. Otherwise, the concept is very, very easy, right? Now, what is the shortcut formula? Simple. See, what all values are given in the question? Times are given. 15 minutes, 9 minutes, right? And then the two speeds are given. 5 km per hour and 3 km per hour. Required is distance. Remember, distance will be equal to S1 into S2 divided by S1 difference S2 into T1 difference T2. Now, what is S1 and S2? The two speeds. 5 and 3. The difference of the two speeds. What is T1 difference T2? 15 minutes and 9 minutes. Again, remember, it's not 15 minus 9. It is 15 plus 9 because early and late, right? So, take care of that one. Substitute and see what happens. 5 into 3, 5 minus 3, 2, and this is 24. 
but you have to divide by 60. Yes or no? Because speeds we are considered in kilometers per hour. Time should be taken in minutes. Or time should be taken in hours. Simplify what do we get? 2 times 5 times 5 and 5 gets cancelled, 2 and 2 gets cancelled, 3 is your answer. So this is how simple it is if you remember the shortcut. Shortcut formula, right? Otherwise, simple concept.